My name is Johnson Alphonse. My name is Ian Carpenter and I work as a case coordinator for East Thames in Stratford, which is a housing association. At first I was really diagnosed as uh, having a, a nervous disability. And as I sectioned over the, the many years of being in, hospita in hospital, um, it, they slowly diagnosed me as having schizophrenia. I mean, I've been in the hospital oh, a, a considerable times. I've been lost count of many times I've been in the hospital. My job as case coordinator is to support people with mental health issues to maintain their tenancy and to live as independently as possible in the community. And so um, I met Johnson about two years ago when I first joined East Thames and I was um, asked to support him to live independently. The reason I got sectioned was because I was very violent. When someone is about to be sectioned, it's a, a very, very difficult and intense time because it's extremely difficult to decide when a person has the ability to make the choice. And uh, do we take that choice away from them and sexure them? Or do we then allow them to continue and try and work with them? And I'm more and more convinced that if people have the support and if they have advocacy within the community and within their own uh, lives, then they have much more choice of staying out of hospital and, and living independently. When I was sectioning, it made me feel in inadequate. Um, like, just taking my own responsibility of, of my own, my own um, being, my own mind, and, and controlling me. And I, it, was, it was just really horrible. And um, I just felt so... So inadequate. I felt like a right baby, to be honest with you. I, I think uh, Johnson's experience is very varied. Um, he will tell you himself that when he was in hospital, um, he didn't have a particularly good experience. The professionals there didn't work with him very well, and he felt like a child that he was sort of almost disabled by it all and really didn't have any kind of choice at all in how he ran his life. Sometimes I wanted to go, um, go out to the shops on my, on my own accord, but they would say, no, you can't go unless you have someone with you, and then you have to have the doctor's permission anyway. And so they used to make it really hard. They would, they would decide now um, how, how I should li live my life when I do come out of hospital, where I should live and how I should live, like in a group home. And I totally disagreed with that. I wanted my own space, I wanted my own flat. Um, and I was going to be pushed around from before in, from flats to flats, never have a permanent position, place to live and to settle down. And um, I was just um, muddling my head up and, and, and just interfering so much into my life. I just didn't know if I was coming or going. It was um, prohibiting me from, from being, being free. I think there is a very fine line between supporting a person and actually telling them what to do. And uh, my job very much is to give the person choice. Um, it might mean putting several options in front of them, like I did with Johnson, and then allowing him to make the choice. It's really important that I, I have some sort of control over my, my illnesses and my day-to-day and my -day running, of um, taking part in, in the community. Um, I, I like to be a responsible person. I always have been, even as, as a child. And when I started to work with Johnson, he clearly had the capacity and understanding to do that. Um, and he wanted to live as independently as possible. I've been always um, an independent person. And, and that's the way I always wanted to be treated as, as, that, as a, 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 a human being, not like a, an animal. I, I think that, that Johnson would say that he does feel very much in control of his life. Um, he's not particularly aware of the Capacity Act. He wasn't when he was in hospital or when he came out. But as a, as a worker, I think that, that I'm familiar with that Capacity Act and I, I'm familiar that Johnson should be given the choice and the opportunities um, and, and that it is the very last resort that we take that choice away from him. Being out of hospital, um, it makes me feel I'm so free. Um, so much joy. Uh, I'm, I'm just, I'm just really happy. It makes me feel more, more, more better person. Like I'm growing up. I'm acting the the way I, I should be, like uh, um, an independent person. 
um, a more mature person, a more happier person um, than, than the way I used to be many years ago. There are times, yes, I feel like I'm, I'm still not um, got a hold on, 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 on my uh -huh. life sometimes. Yeah, so nice. But um, I say patience will just prevail and carry on what I'm doing and, and speak to the right people, like the doctors or, or the, the, my carers. And um, usually I, I do come up trumps and everything does work out okay.